Hang on. Okay. Well, not this entire thing hasn't been recorded, but enough of it will have been recorded. Uh, for the recorder, just for the students who are here, we found the thirds. We found this line and divided it into thirds, which are also up here. And then we found the eye line, which is directly under the third line. We drew a line to the middle of it from one end to the other, and we measured that, and we found out that that was about this long. So we got these two lines correctly proportioned, and then we figured out that the space from beginning to end, this line from beginning to end is, is divided into five equal eye sizes. So we can use that to locate where the eyes are. I know this looks really weird, but it helps you get things into the right places and understand kind of the relationship of one thing to another. I'm not even sure I have this shape right, but. I know that later, I have it in pretty much the right place, so I can go back and correct it. Uh, do you guys want to look at mine? Do you want me to put up the, you, I, I have sent you the drawing on the WhatsApp thread, so you can look at that big. I think for now I'd like you to look at mine drawing big, just so you have it as a reference. Is it hot in New York? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was really nice, but it heated back up today. Yeah, it's hot here. So this is the idea behind this construction. Remember, we're not focused on the glasses. That's a later stage of the game. We're not focused on getting the eyes right. That's a later stage of the game. We're focused on getting things in the right places. And when you've got to that point, the next thing I like to focus on, so this is where all these goofy drawings come from. Hard to tell where really her face, and uh, yeah, that's about right. Comes out a little bit more. Particularly from here, it's tricky to see. Where her face comes in. That looks about right. So now I can start to kind of get the shape of her face. I'm going to start on this side. Instead of just drawing a curved line, I'm kind of breaking. Oh, that may not be right. Maybe it's down curve more. have a kind of straight line come the jaw it kind of comes down below her jaw yeah I guess there's a little proportion it's good it gets slightly wider here not a lot come down below her jaw jaw below that sort of hinge below her mouth and then it's like square on this side notice this comes in i think the side of her face although it's kind of hard to tell comes in kind of right about the fourth eye this eye here And her ear is 
then I can get this outer side. So whether it's hair or a hat she's wearing, it doesn't really matter. Here's her little bun. Here's her neck. So can you see how this construction starts to look? I'm, and I'm always kind of lining things up. This part of her head. Her neck is coming back here. This comes up a little bit more. <laughs> I've actually drawn over where her ear is. So ear is kind of here. What we can see of it. That's not right. So you can see one of the reasons I like not to test this is I want you to see my process of problem solving and to get that this is not something you get like right away on your first go. That's not entirely right, but it's something I can work with. Maybe this can down a little bit more. Something I can fiddle with as I get more detail in. So that's the kind of base construction that we get into. All right, so I can take a picture of this and then send it across the WhatsApp thread so I can put up the big one. You guys can really take a look at this. But I'll also have a picture. Give me just a second here. Uh, my picture should be frozen at the moment, my demo picture. One second. Okay. Still not totally convinced. I think I have the mouth too big. I know I've got it in pretty much the right places. So this is this concept of construction. There we go. All of you should have it. So now guys, send me, if you want me to take a look, um, at your work, go ahead and send it to me. Here, Tom. Hopefully that Zoom is not put into a terrible picture of me. Oh yes, it has, whatever, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me get to Zoom. So I don't look quite so bad. Anyway, send me what you're working on. So I can see it as you're working on it. And let me know if you've got questions going on.
Oh yeah, Jess. Nice. nice. So look at that construction, guys. Yeah. And notice, if you take a look at Jessica's, she's already getting in some of the shading and the glasses in, which I will totally allow if you're there yet. <laughs> I like to do a review of how well, to do the eyes. There's actually a reason that I do it. Mm -hmm. The reason I do it is because it helps me to see the shapes because she's Absolutely. got such a strong like mass on the side of her face and that That's right. lines up with different measurements. So it's just part of seeing. I'm not Absolutely. I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to do, there's no details. It's no brilliant. Details right now. It's brilliant. You got it. It looks fabulous. Yeah, I think it, it looks pretty good. So just be careful, I would say, just as you're going through, the angle of the mouth is going to be really tricky. There's this crazy oh, yeah. sort of loop down to be able to show. I like the shape that you've got on her eyes. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Very nice. Thank you for sharing that. That's great. Drawing is always hard. It's so hard. <laughs> I wish it would get easier, but it doesn't. It's so hard. Yep. Yeah, it requires a lot of attention. And I'm still on my Martin Luther King. <laughs> it's all right, you're painting. It's a different process. I want to get to that one too. It's still a long way to go. I'll send you. Do me a favor, Diana. Can you take a picture of the source as well? It's been a while since I've grabbed that one. Yeah, his, his ear is too low down, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Excellent. Okay, so it looks to me, when I'm looking at this, I like the shape. I think his eyebrows come up a little bit higher on his forehead yeah. than you have them. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. um, no, and his I eye think. is open a little bit more. Uh, that left, uh, the eye on our left is open a bit more. Yeah. Um, and I, oh, I still think, uh, Diana, if you look at the top of his head, it's flatter and that top of his face is, is, mm -hmm. is, is not so wide as you have it, the hair part. No, that's why you have a line there. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm talking about the very top. So yeah, top like, I yeah, yeah, chop him off like the, yeah, exactly. I, once I get the proportions in right, the, the proportions aren't quite right yet. Mm -hmm. I think the nose is not bad, Paul. Yeah, the nose looks right to me. I like the mouth. It's the shape of his face. So remember with Dr. King, the sh and particularly in this photograph, his face is narrower than it looks. Yeah. So it's, and his features are large, but also. Yeah. Yeah. Large. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to reduce his head. <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. I've noticed with, with uh, King, people who paint it, just it's a completely different cat that comes out. That's, that's what I like to say. Yeah, totally. OK, Grant, you're a little bit too slanted. Um, mouth is way too slanted. That is not the shape of the mouth and the nose and also on this side grant this is way too wide so you should have one two three four oh yeah so your eyes are too big grant 
There should yep. be one eye, the whole side of this face from here to here is one eye. Okay, and then there's another eye between here and here. There's another eye here, and then there's two more. So your eyes need to be smaller. And, and the mouth needs to be um, much straighter than you have it. So it's really easy to exaggerate curves well beyond what's actually happening. Oikes. Okay, Jean, let's see. I want to, something is off here. So Jean, I think part of the problem, part of, uh, it's just off. Part of the problem is that you have um, made this too curved, this line too curved, way too curved. It's way more straight. Um, and then one, let's see, one. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first thing. So erase the features. And I want you to make this line much more straight up and down. Well, that is a big problem because you're not able to kind of look. It's yeah, much more, start fresh. what's that? Yeah, start fresh. And one, and also, Two, three. You have her. You have her nose too low. That's another thing. But we need a better line. So let's get the lines kind of in the right place. Anybody else want to send me what they're doing? Anybody ready to go on to the next step? Or you want more time? Give you guys a little bit more time. It's so easy to get too big. The nice part of this drawing is that a significant amount of her left side, right, our right side, her left, is dark. So we don't have to deal. And that's okay. By the way, for the beginning drawers, it's okay not to get this absolutely nailed. We're going to return to this subject again later. I just want you to have an idea now of how it how it starts. Send you a sketch, Leah. 
Yes, please. I moved the pencil because I can't do I can't do charcoal in this room. I think that's totally fine. Uh, also, pencil is kind of easier. Yep. To get things in, um, it's it, I'm actually finding even big. It's a little tricky to get the charcoal to do exactly what I want. Oh, I see it. Okay, good. All right. Excellent. Um, so the only thing I would say, so one, two, three, four, five. So right now, Reg, the only thing I'd say is that um, the eyes are too close together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's it's a full as you say eye. That. It's yeah. so funny, right? You can't really see it until you send it. <laughs> There's a full eye in between. Other th everything else looks good. What Her I'm nose doing... is tight, is small, is a little shorter yeah, on the small. Side. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing so, these days is I'm taking photos. Yeah. Then, I mean, it's very strange. I take, I, I, I'm halfway through something and I stop, I take a photo. And I look at it on the photo, and it's very strange. But on a photo, you actually get the you get the distance that you don't otherwise get. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. That's why, like art schools, don't want people to work from photos because um, the photo is more simplistic than the naked eye, right? Yeah. So there's planes removed from it. Um, I said that's why I like teaching on Skype. I look about five years younger. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep. Yeah, stepping, and particularly if you live in a small apartment in New York, it helps. Let's <laughs> have that. There is a really amazing symmetry to the our faces. We all, all of our features are kind of in the same places. The difference between us is just millimeters. The differences between us are so minimal. And it's really easy to make the eyes way too big. Well, let's see. Oh, much better, Jean. Much better. Significant. One, two, four, five. Except that um, the eyes are a little bit big. The eye distance is a little bit big. If you'll notice, Jean, this is just nitty nitpicky. One, three. Her left four, eye. Her left eye is too far. Five. Her yeah, eye. her eye, our, our, the eye on our right needs to come in just a touch. Well, that's much better. Better. Okay, I'm going to go on then. Let me bring you back up to Zoom. Let's go back up to Okay, I'm gonna stop the share for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna remove this. And we're gonna talk about features again for a moment. So before we get to, uh, although I guess we can also talk about construction of the glasses, right? Because that is actually important. She's got these kind of diagonal glasses that come out Oh, I'm gonna see. I brought my eyes down too low. I'm gonna start with the glasses before I get to my eye line. So see, I found out that I put my eyes too low. And I know that because my third stops right at my glasses line here. So my glasses, that shape kind of comes out and extends out this way.
kind of hexagonal shape. They're big, the glasses. They come down. Did you find that, Jessica, when you were drawing the glasses? You're like yeah. bigger. So you're right. Yeah. I see exactly what you're saying about that shape. The nose is completely related to the glasses, right? So it is important to get the glasses in place. You know, I make sure I don't lose my one, two, three. So as I'm sketching in the glasses, just simply. Up a little bit. I'm finding I have to bring my nose up a little bit. Get my glasses to fit. Ah, nice, interesting. So that helps me kind of shape my nose. But I want to talk about eyes for a minute. So once again, I'm going to review this concept of eyes. Our kid version of eyes, we do this and this, you know, the almond shape with the round iris and then the round pupil and then these little spikes for the iris and then the coup de gras is this. <laughs> I like doing that because somehow, even though we laugh when we see it, this is still in our brain when we're drawing eyes. In reality, the eyes, and particularly in this shape, so I'll see if I could do hers, this, this one here. Yeah. The shape of the eye is really more kind of straight, sort of curved on the top, but straight on the bottom. And in this particular case, Her iris is here, right? So number one, we never see the whole round iris. It's, it, our eyes would look very, or that would be a very distinct look, let's put it that way. There's a tear duct here. I'm kind of adjusting the shape as I add in the iris to see what's going on. But remember that what makes people distinct are those upper lid lines. So the things that are different for everybody is where this upper lid line sits in relation to the top um, in, in relation to the, uh, the eyelash line. This, you can see her upper lid line. There's a little bit of skin between it. It doesn't sit as deep as same line, right, when you drew mine but it's definitely there. And then how much space is between, even with her glasses on, we can see this. There's a lot of space between her eyebrow and that upper lid line. So that red mark that I just made is actually the shape of her upper lid line. Uh, the, li the, the line of flesh before we get to her eyebrow. Super important. Eyebrows are the most distinctive. Eyebrows and the upper lid line are the most distinctive parts about us. Also, whether we are pigs or foxes with our noses, right? So for some people like me, my eyebrows sit right on top of my head, on top of my upper lid line. There's no space here. There's kind of these, she's got these great little sort of wrinkle lines there. And then to get the inner eye, we make the iris darker around the edge, we make the pupil darker. And then regardless of whether you have light eyes or dark eyes, it's gonna be darker on the top of the iris, but not quite as dark. It could sometimes be as dark as the pupil lines. Um, but then it gets, we have to remember to keep in that white spot, that light spot. And then we remember that as the 
eye comes down, as like the color comes down around the bottom of the iris, it gets lighter. So believe it or not, it's like slightly darker on the top, slightly lighter on the bottom, except for that light spot, slightly lighter on the bottom. The pupil and the edge of the iris will be darker. See how that eye starts to come alive? And then eyelashes are really just a thickening of the line out towards the outside edge of the eye. We don't really draw many of these lines like this. It's just kind of a thickening here. And under here, it's actually light. The lid of the eye is actually light. So I like to draw a line, a, a line kind of like this, which is like the sort of, but a little bit down from the eye itself to show that lightness of color. So, or the lightness of line. It's this is that that that's little pink part that sort of sticks up towards the light. All right, so that is eyes. Uh, once again, with the nose, remember less is more. So with the nose and with her, we can see very little nostril line anyway. Even if we did, we are going to de-emphasize it because it's not as dark as you think it is. So the most important thing is to get that swoop. And then, of course, to notice, and actually very nicely, her glasses sit in the way. So we got, we're not so tempted to draw these horrible lines that people do where they do that and that. We're going to do most of our shading. We're going to deal with the nose mostly on shading and much of the bottom of the nose is shaded. And then the side of the nose here is shaded pretty dramatically. This spot here is kind of light. And then the mouth, let's talk about, so besides these shapes, really look, if I can sketch this out, this is tricky. Believe me, I'm having trouble with it too. So besides our general rule that the upper lip is darker and the lower lip is lighter, okay? We've got teeth here. And the challenge with teeth is to, once again, like the nose, minimize um, minimize the dark lines. So instead of drawing every single tooth line like this, if you do that, she's going to look like a monster. Instead, I'm looking kind of just for the upper lid shape, the upper lip shape, which I know is darker. bottom is lighter. And then when you've got teeth, the sort of edges here, it's about sort of shading. So the edges are lighter, or darker, sorry. And then there's a little bit of a darkening kind of at the top here, but mostly teeth are just gray. You're not really doing You maybe do a little bit of the gum, but you're not even doing that much. I, mean, I don't even want to do that much right now. I might do that dark spot kind of underneath your teeth, right? So that she doesn't look so grim. Notice that just make a smile happen. The bottom lid, uh, the bottom lip points up, but the top lip actually points down. We're going to try and get that happening. So you'll be fiddling with that. And then there's the shading of the face. So I'll try to sketch that in. Sketch it in so you can really see it. That 
that's kind of the basic shading of the face. Every see, place you see a shape, there's a there's a shading change. So I know that was a lot of information. Does anybody have questions? Or you wanna just have at it? Uh, I'll work on mine. You guys can work on yours. I'll put the, I'll still have mine up so you can see it as we're going along. But I'll put your source back up so you can have that big. So let me know as you have, I'm gonna work along with you for a while. Let me know if you've got questions. I have a question, Leah. Yes. Your cat. Is My cat. Quiet. <laughs> you want me to go check on him? <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. Yes. Here he is. Aww. Oh, baby. Cutie. Here, wait. I'm going to pull the chair down just for a second, just so you can ogle my cat. Okay. Because look at Oh. <laughs> Kitty. He's like, Aww. he's purring. He's a uh, little, he's looking oh. for like, trouble to cause. <laughs> He's amazing. He really Thank you for amazing. checking on the kitty cat. Oh, you're welcome. He is uh, here. Let me get this back up. Oh, meow. He says, "Here, hold on. I'm gonna shut my door. Give me one second. Yes, if I leave him for any length of time, he falls asleep. Okay. And gets uh, really, and then just naps until we come and get him again. And then he just raises hell and, you know, <laughs> the boy is cute. He's really cute. And I'm hoping Luca will, will get to love him. Kind of a good idea to sketch in the glasses before you get the eyes in because that will keep your eyes as small as they need to be. She's got lovely eyes, very expressive eyes, laughing eyes, you know, like she's got these great, but they're small, way smaller. Oh, Can you hear him now? He's like, wants to kiss. Yeah. He wants attention. He's one. He's such a little brat. We love him. He's a kitten from the farm. Oh. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, that's 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 Coco. Coco. It's like you have to have a pet to join this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Reg, get it, get with it. Indeed. You got two kids. How about that? Is that count? that counts? They yeah, but they don't live with you, either. so they can't interrupt your art class. Well, this is a fair point. Anyway, I am bailing. Thank you very much for the lesson. Okay. I'm going to go yes. have dinner now and All I right. got my, send you my final version. Please do.
Thanks, Reg. Yes. And thanks for coming and talking about your process. I loved uh, all that conversation about materials and and getting things. It's really great. Oh, happy yeah. to do it. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, bye. Reg. Bye. bye. Coco wants to say hello. So. Hello, Coco. Hey, Coco. Hey, They're saying hello. Say hello. Yeah. She's shy. I think they don't really get the whole Skype thing. It doesn't make any sense to them. No, they can't smell us. So. Yeah, they, they can't smell us. Exactly. I had a student who was, um, I had students in um, Montana for years and named Barry and Marcy, and they had this little poodle named Molly, and, I, and they would put me on their big screen down in their basement where they painted. And they would say, they'd say, Leah, Leah, call for Molly. And I'd go, Molly. And Molly would look at, would look at Marcy. And I'd say, Molly. Molly would look at Marcy again. Molly could not in any way connect that the voice in the big room was not coming from Marcy. Well, my cat has separation anxiety when my daughter leaves and goes to visit her friend and we have to FaceTime the cat. And if Aww. we don't, she pees on my bed. She doesn't and let we really? face, Yeah. And if we FaceTime with the cat and I pet her while my daughter talks to her, then she um, doesn't pee on my bed. Well. Which I prefer. Interesting. So, yeah. It does. It, it, it helps with separation anxiety and cats, apparently. <laughs> That's so funny. easy it's easy i'm finding to get the mouth too big so when you find that happening step back and work the other shapes and the shading and that's going to help you i promise now i'm getting a lot of flat from lake Kitone. It is hard. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Thanks for giving us the hardest mouth ever to draw. You know, I know. I was looking at it and going, maybe I should pick something else. And then I thought, well, but I mean, if people want a, even a, a clue of how to start to deal with this, we might as well try it. But just so that you know, guys, we're all thinking this is hard. So. Okay, if it doesn't. Even the so cat well. thinks it's hard. That's why yes. he's crying? That's yes. Is that why he's crying? I thought he was crying yes. because I'm not paying attention to him. No, it's because the mouth is hard to draw. That's right. Hey, ow! Hey. Do you want to come up here? 
See how long this lasts. Uh, if anybody wants me to look, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just here. I'll just send it to you. Do you need some help with it, or do you want me to? No, you want me to stop? Look at, I mean, I'm still working on it. I'll okay, it. hold on. Let me take a look. Yes. Hey, 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 hey! All right, get this down here. Play with that. Play with that. There Hmm. No catch it. Sorry, hang on, Jane. Um, okay, so better. Her eyes, so Jean, mm -hmm. I want you to look at where, here, I'm gonna uh, point to this on here. I want you to look at where the glasses intersect with the base of her nose. Uh -huh. See that? Uh -huh right here. See how far down you have the nose from there? So start with getting the glasses in the right. And then you can narrow the eyes a little bit. They are a little too wide and too tall. Much better though. Start to get there. And the mouth is just really hard, that shape. So at some point we might even, should I turn this upside down? So we can look at shapes upside down? No? Yes? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it. Sorry, you had the chance to say no, guys. So take a look at this upside down. And check your shapes. Doing the same thing. Ooh. Yes, I was going to do that, Rosa. Oh, that's not bad. Lana, glasses are way too small. Look at the glasses in relation to the nose. The right. nose needs to come up higher, and the glasses need to be much bigger. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. What's the name of your cat? Uh, Hermes. <laughs> and he just a little... The messenger god. And maybe the scarf company. Um, he's, the, he's a cat from the farm. It looks to me like he's got some Siamese in him. He is a, a very happy little guy. Very playful. Uh, very purry. He likes to be petted and picked up and I'm holding him right now and he's trying to swap the microphone. <laughs> Get down your little knee. <laughs> what does Mooka think? Hates him. Hates him right really? now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Doesn't want to be in the same room with him. Hisses whenever he's close. Um absolutely is not having it <laughs> but we hope she'll change her mind you know we hope she'll like we're introducing them slowly it's been it's just been a week it takes and a I, while it takes a while i hear cats take it can take several weeks katie is still trying to i don't think she's ever going to get her cats to like each other really that's too bad
It may be. Luca's a pretty easygoing cat. I think she, when he stops, you know, running around and mucking with her every move. I, I had cats that didn't like each other, but they learned to tolerate each other. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, remember what I said, no teeth lines. Teeth lines make her look like a monster. You're just going to gray the teeth and maybe do the top of one or two of the lines, but you're not going to draw lines all the way through. And so it's, uh, it's uh, less is more with the mouth, with the smiling mouth particularly. Okay. Here, I'll put this up so you guys can see what I'm doing as well. I'm working upside down too. Yeah, the one that Reg sent, guys, was the one I was going to give you. Then I decided that was too easy. Let me know if you sent something to me to have me look at it. Otherwise, I'll just be looking at my Nikki. Also, that there's a little tiny light line above the whole lip. If the upper lip is dark, uh, the, the little line on top of the upper lip is light. It's because that's, that's light. That's kind of poking up at the light. upside down for a bit. Uh, I'm going to turn it right side up for you guys because I think now there we go.
a lovely human she was. That smile. I just sent you one. Okay. Hang on. Still with the mind. So Jean, did you look upside down to get shapes? Yep. I like it. Uh, so one of the things I want you to notice about the glasses is they're not fully dark all the way around. In some areas, they're actually light. Yeah. Um, so, and, it, and, and they're definitely kind of more square than round. Mm -hmm. So get those square, get the squareness, particularly at the edges better on the nose. The mouth is hard, just that uh, her mouth is too big. It goes down too low. Okay. Um, so you might bring her mouth up. I would erase her mouth and start over, but everything else looks good. Uh, much better, really good attempt. Okay, Diana, there we go. Okay. All right, Grant. Um, I, yep. Uh, eyes are too, here's the short thing. Uh, your eyes are way too big and the, the left side of her face is way too big. No, one, three. So you want to, um, uh, one, you want to resize the eyes. So there's an eye space between them. That should, that should be one thing. Um, you want to work more with shading and that'll help you get also, uh, this, this, the side of her face, correct. Bring in the left, our left side of her face a bit, but getting there. Thanks. Yeah. It's easy to make eyes way too big. Oh, look at this, you guys here. Now, cause I stopped paying attention to him. He's, t he's tired. So he's just falling asleep. I can't see him because of friends. I'll show you. I'm going to take a picture and send it across WhatsApp. Okay, there we go. Um, it's coming. <laughs> Sorry, I will tire of uh, the kitten, sending you pictures of the kitten soon. Please don't. don't worry. <laughs> we love That's the kitten. 
There he is. Now he's like, so he's kind of in these constant states of. Um, He's in this constant, he's either bouncing between one or the other. He's exhausted and then he's up. And then he's exhausted and then he's up. He's and a he's, baby. He's a baby. He is. Just wait till all your charcoal erasers are half cat hair. Right. <laughs> So, for all of you who've been paying attention to what I'm doing, uh, I had her mouth way too low. So if you're making that mistake, it's a common one. Really work with the space between um, her nose and the top of her lip. That will help. Anyway, I always seem to do this in portraits. I always seem to bring the mouth too low. So if that's something that you find yourself doing, I think that is a common problem. Or maybe it's just a problem that you and I do, but. <laughs> I just sent you a picture. Let's see. Uh, better with the mouth. Um, Paul, the, no, the eyes are too big. There's not an eye space between the eyes. Um, you don't have the upper lids, and I don't see eyebrows. And the nose should be as wide as an eye. So you need to bring the nose out farther. 
and really pay attention to the shape. Bring the eyes in. Better with the mouth. she's wearing is totally cute. At the very end, you guys notice that even though like our left, our right side of her face is shaded, the hat and her hair are darker than her skin tone. If you look close, you can actually see um, the side of her neck coming out, uh, her ear. So try to distinguish those things. Maybe if you can't. Jessica, how is your um, portrait drawing class going? Oh, Kevin's? Oh, that yeah. ended. Oh, that it? How did it go? It was awesome. Yeah. I wanted to do another one so I can take it. Um, so what you need to do is the mo when yeah. he offers another one, you tell me, okay? I'd love to see it too. Well, of course. I told you the first time. I know. I just couldn't get there in time. Yeah, it filled up. Yeah, I definitely will tell you. I'm on the lookout for it. Um, he's doing something right now with um, Robert Lurache, so I don't know if he'll do another one after, but I think they are planning on it. Right. So.
I'm That's kind of feeling. I want to Janet, draw more. Janet, I don't know how you're feeling about Art Students League right now of New York. Are you still with Ricky? I love Ricky. Ricky's great because he's trying. He was, oh, you would have loved, so he was, um, he was doing an imitation of this teacher meeting and he was just cracking up and he said like, he said, you know, a lot of the teachers are old. He said, well, you know, I'm old, but he said, a lot of them are old school. And you know, yeah. they think, you know, people say, oh, you know, you got to do it on Zoom and you got to do this, you got to do that. And these people, they go, oh, I'm just doing it on email. Everything's great. And he's like, all right, well, that's what you want to do. <laughs> No one's going to take your class. And I was like, yeah, well, that's not what we want you to do, honey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he was kind of just. Yeah, this is a like, very hard so drawing. Cool. It's so hard. <laughs> but he worked so hard on that class. Like, he puts hours of preparation into it. Yeah. And he really, I feel like really you're getting a lot out of it. Month. He has, like, 50 students every month and most, a lot of them are have been doing it since May like me right so he and he's figuring out right how to serve you guys which he's figuring out how to use the medium which I just think is awesome yeah I really like how he's doing that I probably it's probably gonna be a while I'm feeling a little burned by the art student league right now because of that well come over to drawing America Checking it out. Yeah. I also, of course, have got to get like, I just hung a show today. Um, I launched a show of works last Where week. And, um, and then once Open Studios is done in October, I'll have a chance to do some class. I'd like to do that. Yeah, her mouth is so hard. I just can't get it. I've, I've it's it. tricky. I've been mucking around with it too. I keep cursing at you in my head, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> but what what would it be without a chance? So, it, so those of you who are newer at this than Janet or Jessica or me, do not feel bad if you can't get it. <laughs> oh no, this is really fucking hard. This is really hard. It's really hard. Those of, you, hard. those of us who've been there a long time and we still suck at it. Well, you haven't done very many faces though. That's true. I, and I always suck at faces, which is why I don't do them. <laughs> well, you and you continue, if you continue to suck at them, it's because you don't do them. I know. I think That's the trick point. with her mouth is the corners. If you get those bottom corners there, because mm -hmm. she's kind of f f smiling, but not really. So she's definitely smiling. Yeah, but not really. Oh, she's very smiling. She's oh, very yeah. smiling. smiling. She's absolutely smiling. There's no depth, yep. there's no not really about it. She's totally smiling. No and what's what happening is with a smile, the upper lip goes down and the bottom lip goes up. And we're also looking at her from below. So we're looking at her. Uh, it's important to get the corners dark of the mouth. It's important to gray the teeth, particularly on the eye right side. But it's tough, I ain't gonna lie. And that's why she's, it's a good challenge. Teeth and glasses. Thanks a lot, Leah. I know. Teeth and glasses. It really, I You're lucky really you have a cute some... kitten. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank God. Hermes, you saved, oh my God, he's just completely passed out right now. <laughs> you saved the day, Hermes. I gotta hop off. Bye, All guys. Right, Paul, we'll see you uh, soon. You, see you next week. Bye, Grant. Great. Bye. Oh, bye, Grant. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Janet, let's see here. So Janet, you have her, let me check here. That is good. 
Janet, you need to add in her neck. I'm doing her... it right now. Great, great, great. Then it's going to be easier for me. I like, I actually like the. Getting better, Jean. Getting better. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not needing it as much. Mm hmm And you can darken the right side of her, our right side of her face. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, yep, made the eyes smaller. Paul, there's a lot of space you have. Look up here at the thing. There's a lot of space you have between the mouth and here. So this face, this side of the face needs to come in quite a bit. Notice it's very, it's not that far off from the neckline here. Yours is kind of way out here. Yeah, so go ahead. Good, you guys. So good. Very admirable efforts. I can send you guys where I am right now. First, once I do it, let's see. Uh, it, that helps a lot, Janet. I feel like you really have her, I like like her jowls. You got the nose and the glasses. You got the eyes. But she still doesn't look like she's smiling. Um, yeah, you know what I would do? Get the darks in. So get her hair dark, get that dark side of her face, and then you can start working with the smile. Notice how many shading is, how much shading is around that smile. Yeah. There's a lot of shading that is actually maybe that's, Maybe that's why it doesn't look like she's smiling. Yeah, yeah. You really need to, the, the smile and the shading are kind of all one. I think I still don't have the mouth wide enough. Yes, I agree with that too. Um, the mouth is really lined up with, if you look here, if I run a line straight up from here, the mouth is lined up almost with the edge of the eye. Yeah, minus, mm -hmm. in, minus, I think the other side. The other side is uh, lined up with. I think I have the other side lined up right. Yep, I do too. So but, I think you just have to make her a little uh, bit. But the trick with uh, making it long is then it's easy for it to get too long. So, so everything on the right side also needs to be darkened. Teeth. It's not really that far off though. Well, remember, it doesn't take that the much. Shading of it, I mean, the shading of the mouth, I didn't go far enough. So try that now. Yeah. I think that's the problem. Yeah, I think until you get all that kind of neat shading sort of under yeah, her chin. Yeah, now she looks more smiley. Yep. Because there's, a, there's laugh lines there. Here, I'll send you guys where I am right now. Like I said, I've never done this either. So I am, of course, when I do that, I'm like, no. That's better. Where's where I'm at? Like I said, I I, uh, I picked this one also specifically because I hadn't I haven't done it before, so I'm struggling with. I want to sort of feel your struggle and just share be with you. And tell us your sadist. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit of a sadist. <laughs> you guys, I agree with that. Just because you're suffering too doesn't make us feel any better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I anyway. The point being, I want to tackle hard problems with you. How is that? And we do our problem solving together as much as we can. And if we don't do this now, like, when are we going to do it? You know, that's what class is for. So it's out of the good of your heart? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, wouldn't it be easier for me to do something that was easy for me to do? Yes. Yeah, it would be way easier for me to do. Yes, my torturing you all is absolutely out of the goodness of my heart, Diana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are too, too kind. Isn't that wonderful of me? I'm wonderful. It's so wonderful. Oh, so wonderful. <laughs> Lucky you have a kitten. 
Hermes, did you hear that? He's like, now he's practically sliding off the chair. So is <laughs> what are you? We'll have a oh, little kid. Melissa, I'm loving my new earrings. I will. I will. She'll love that. I'm getting her to do some painting. She is a good painter. And uh, I'm pushing her to do more painting. So I don't think this open studios, but definitely next year. And maybe in December, she'll be able to have some. She's doing these beautiful botanical illustrations right now. Oh, I saw those. They're really nice. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. I just sent you one, Leah. Oh yeah, Jean, coming along, coming along. Yeah, it's better, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Lana, her nose is way too large and goes down too long. Look at the relationship. I'm going to point it out right here. Look at the relationship between her nose and the edge of her glasses. Okay. Okay. See, they are right close together. Okay. Uh, Jean, very far forward. You keep like going like this, faces aren't gonna be so hard for you. Well, I have to say it's the best face I've done, but that doesn't yep. say that's a very low bar. I know, it's hard. Listen, it's hard, hon. It's really Leah, hard. will you move your cursor? Oh yeah, sorry. It's hard, it's super hard. This is a very difficult one. This is a really difficult drawing. I'm not doing this because mm -hmm. I want you guys to nail it necessarily. Although if you want to nail it, I invite you to nail it. I'm doing this to show you how construction, I'm trying to give you an example of construction, um, which is hard to explain. Well, I'm glad I got eyes. I'm able to get eyes. I, I'm happy with the eyes that I have and the fact that I got the mouth, even though I kind of, uh, if the nose um, yeah you're starting to get i agree paul i think you're starting to get it yeah well, that's good hopefully in the next few weeks i can have something better good you know yeah so teeth are our teeth are a no-no is that what you're saying yeah te you do not draw the lines of teeth you basically just shade the teeth a little gray. Look at look at mine. Look at where how my teeth are done. It's they're all slightly gray. There's a uh, the sort of bottom of the teeth. I've got that line to kind of define the edge of the teeth. But if you do too much, so just like the nose, if you do too much uh, uh, of the teeth, if you put too much detail in, it looks like a person looks like they're grimacing. So less is more. Leah, what's your what's your preferred uh, form of drawing? Is it oil, watercolor, charcoal, ink? I love charcoal. Uh, and I love charcoal and ink. Uh, I love watercolor. I like them for different reasons. I'm not a big pencil fan, but once I started doing watercolor, I appreciate like pencil under watercolor. I like that combination. Um, so I like ink and watercolor because of the expressive gesturalness of the medium. At least that's how I use it. I like uh, oil and acrylic um, 
for the for the sort of layering and how I can keep going over and getting more detailed or less detailed uh, as I please. Uh, but for drawing, charcoal is absolutely my favorite medium. I just love it. I think it's so, I just think it's beautiful. I love the marks it makes. I like everything about it. What about you? Are you finding one that you like? Honestly, I haven't had any, uh, well, as far as, I've really, we've only done pencil and we've, we've had, um, I've done oil with you a few times. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed that, but I think the first time I had, I was, you know, when I had something and I ruined it, I don't know, mm -hmm. much, but I, I had, I had something going and then I just, I didn't think I had anything. So I just like did what, did something stupid at the end. So I didn't see what I could have, I could have had, but now I like charcoal. I do really like it. I think it's I like charcoal too. And I like seeing how Reg, who is a diehard pencil man, is moving to charcoal. Can you see that, uh, Gene? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's I'm, really great. I love I'm how he has a few words. He, he took to it like a duck to water. He well, except that it was hard for him. Right, actually, but he's like, so good at He's well, he's really pushed himself, uh, which I really appreciate. And that's probably because I sent him some materials and said, Here, this is what you need <laughs> to start with. Talk about guilt bribery. Wow. It was sent total guilt bribery. I was like, them. Dude, here. Like, he kept saying, Yeah, yeah, I'm going to use them. And I'm like, You know what? I'm just going to send him some. <laughs> but he's so good. Yeah, he's good. He's great. He's really good. And, yeah. and he's getting, and actually, he's getting better which is we all are getting better yes we're everybody is getting, getting better. that is true actually everybody is getting better if you're not getting better it means you're not working if you're working you're gonna get better you're gonna get better that's absolutely true yeah. that's a really great way of putting it really great way of putting it well the, the world is ending outside we're having a horrible thunderstorm yeah <laughs> Well, it's not here yet. We were supposed to, though. I got like seven texts from the city about it. <laughs> really? any kind of weather, the city just like texts me over and over about That's it. That's awesome. pretty ridiculous. Actually, I'm sort of liking my Yeah, I'm not going to say I'm done with it yet, but I would say a good. Hey. Oh my gosh. Night, everybody. It's that time already. It is. Oh my God. I was just looking at that. All right. Everybody send it, off oh. send your stuff. Is it? Yep. Shall I pull off the share? I'll stop the share. Yeah. You all have it. Oops. Here, let me leave the Zoom meeting from my phone. Graphite. All right. Zoom. Leave. Leave the meeting. There we go. Okay. And I will turn on my video again. Leah, this was a hard drawing and you stink. So yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody want to hold up your work, whatever you're working on, so we can kind of just see it. Let's do it. Let's put yourself in gallery view and let's do it. Yeah, better, Paul. Much better. Oh, Diana, that's coming along. Oh, Jessica, that's good. Yep, yep, yep. Jean, mm -hmm. excellent. Di ja Janet, hold it up. Yep, yep, starting to get there. Sorry, we caught you at an awkward moment, Janet, because I know you're yeah, adding I have, in all I this stuff. Yeah, I about to do the hair. Nice. Oh, my God, I'll you guys. I'll probably see you tomorrow morning, but don't tell anybody. Yes, okay, well, not. And listen, guys, tomorrow morning we're doing something easy. We're doing ink with cats. So that's all. Ink with cats? <laughs> ink with ink cats. With yeah, I love the block four. They're always like, let's do a something. <laughs> Like fun and easy. <laughs> what time is tomorrow's class, Western? Nine o'clock. Nine a.m. Isn't it eight thirty? Oh, eight thirty. You're 830. right. Sorry, Diana. Sorry. Yes, yes. Eight thirty a.m. Eight thirty a.m. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, guys. We're continuing to get there. Nice. Thank you, Leah. Really nice to see for everyone. Torturing us. Yes, you're welcome. Us Torture you so yeah. good. Here, wait. Terrible. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.